वेलकम गाइस टू कैन एक्स माय नेम इज गौरव एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी गन लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप अ रेसबेरी पाई विद अ लैपटॉप विदाउट हैविंग एनी एसेसरीज एंड गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स गो Welcome back guys to another video. So in the previous one we learn how to set up a Raspberry Pi. But in this video I am going to show you how you can set up a Raspberry Pi headlessly. Which means you don't need any keyboard, mouse or monitor or any accessory to set up a Raspberry Pi. You just need your laptop and we are good to go. We're going to access the Raspberry Pi view directly on our laptop and control it from our laptop directly. So let's get started. Set up part will be same for all the Raspberry Pi model whether you have Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, Raspberry Pi 0, 02W or whether you have the 4-bit Raspberry Pi 4. So the method will be same for all the Raspberry Pi model. So first of all we need to download a Raspberry Pi flasher to flash the OS into the SD card. Just come to the raspberrypi.com link as always in the description. Then head over to the software section. Here you will find a Raspberry Pi imager. You can download for Windows, Mac OS or Ubuntu and any other Linux distro as well. Just use this command in the terminal. So here I am going to install this for Windows. Just click download. So after installing the Pi imager, let's start. So here we have the Raspberry Pi imager. First you need to choose the OS. Click on choose OS. And here you will find a Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. Now we need to do some tweaks with the settings. So before uh, clicking on the right button, go to the settings. Right here we have open up the settings for our Raspberry Pi. First of all, you need to enable the SSS to access the SSS. And then you have to set up a username and password. Default it's Pi and the Raspberry. You can set your custom password. I will click root. And then you have to configure your Wi-Fi network. So if you're using your Wi-Fi network, just enter the name and the password. If you don't have any Wi-Fi connection with you, then you can just turn on your mobile hotspot and use that Wi-Fi. After that, you need to select your country. In my case, India. If you are from any like US, you, you, you can use your country code. And then the time zone, you need to select. I select Asia, Kolkata. And then you need to select a keyboard layout and that's all you can click that option it will eject the media after the flashing and that's all click on save and hit the right button insert the sd card and power up the raspberry pi now we have powered the raspberry pi after a few minutes, it will boot up and automatically connect to the Wi-Fi network that we have previously saved in the setting. Check whether it's connect to a Wi-Fi or not. And then we need the IP address of, our, of the Pi. So you can get the IP address of your Pi from your routers, admin, or you can use the advanced softwares like advanced IP scanners. Just click scan. And if you are using your mobile hotspot, then you just go to your mobile hotspot setting and there you will find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi in the connecting device. As you can see, I got the Raspberry Pi. So just copy the IP address. Now, after we get the IP address, we need to connect to the terminal of the Raspberry Pi. So for that you need to use a putty software. In here, you need to enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, then port 22, and then SSH, and then just click on open. Here, accept all. And here, log in your credentials, like username as we set Pi, then the password, and click enter. And now, we are, we are able to access the terminal of the Raspberry Pi. Now, to view the Raspberry Pi user interface on the VNC server, we need to enable some settings. For that, just type sudo 
respy config and hit enter here we have to enable the vnc server and other settings from the systems from the interface options hit enter here as we already enabled the ssh uh, here go to vnc hit enter click on yes and click ok and then hit finish now the vnc server is activate now but we need to do some more settings as well again go to the configurations into the display enter a display here vnc resolution now set the vnc resolution to the max okay after all of this reboot the system once yes hit enter now open the vnc viewer enter the ip address of your raspberry pi hit enter and now click on connect here you have to enter the login details of your pi as we said previously and click ok and here you go here we are able to access the raspberry pi remotely without connecting it to monitor or the keyboard so this way you can use your raspberry pi remotely without having any monitor or accessories as you can see the vnc server is activate after your first boot there are few things we need to do first we need to update you can use the terminal to update or you can just directly go here and install the updates so just hit here and click on install updates and it will install all the major updates to your raspberry pi after that you are ready to use your raspberry pi so here our raspberry pi setup is complete now you can use your raspberry pi directly from your laptop without having any monitor or any accessories it's very useful in many cases so hope you guys like this video if you have any question then do let me know in the comment section below do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to Techonics. and i will see you in the next one till then keep exploring keep making diy